Hey you guys, welcome to your uh, weekend edition Love and General Reading. This is for Water Signs, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for the weekend of September 21st through the 23rd, uh, 2018. Alright, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin. Interesting. It's almost like it's continuing where I left off with Fire Signs. Hmm. Wow, okay. So I just did fire and they had the world tower, seven of wands, page of cups. Wow, okay. Uh oh, and I'm seeing a, a heated love affair, heated attachments, uh, passionate animal, animalistic love making led to possible pregnancy yep for y'all too um okay well heart of the situation we have the world we also have temperance i'm sorry not temperance the um, justice uh we have four of cups we have the tower queen of cups judgment mm. seven of wands and the princess of cups Okay, so there's been a breakthrough. Um, there was a period of time when nothing was happening. Maybe someone was ignoring you. Uh, you could have been daydreaming, wondering if, when, when is this going to happen? Um, your heart has been preoccupied with someone. Um, it's like things weren't clear for you. I feel like you have been praying for answers, praying for guidance. I feel like for some of you, this is about being bored with your current situation or your life or the way things have been or at your job or with a partner. There was a sense of wonderment of, you know, when is this change going to, I feel like something should be different. I feel like I should be different or I should be someplace different. You know, I just kind of feel like someone has been thinking about different things and having to make some sort of decision. So someone may have been in isolation or hiding how they were truly feeling because they were trying to process that. Um, they were trying to get things back in balance here. Things could have been imbalanced uh, emotionally. Um, there is a need to make some sort of decision. And then here I feel like finally, after a few adjustments, Someone has decided to do something or has made some sort of agreement um, to end things. They're ready to start over, ready to move on to bigger and brighter things here. It's a new beginning, a new season. And for those of you, if it doesn't happen by this weekend, um, this is stretching all the way out to um, October, somewhere um not October, December, uh, somewhere around December 23rd. Um, but actually, fall officially starts September 22nd, I believe. That is when I really feel like there's going to be like this major shift or change, like you're either letting go of a relationship, letting go of a job, um, your old identity. There, There is some sort of completion. Um, if it's not the end of a relationship, then you're taking it to the next level. You guys might be relocating. You guys might have decided, okay, let's move out. Um, or I'm also seeing if you've been going through any type of court battles or court issues, that's coming to an end. Um, I think I also have the world in your, can those of you that are cancer, um, the world showed up in your cancer reading. So this is a uh, a strong message for those of you that are cancer too because there's getting ready to be a major change or shift in your life um where there's the one cycle is ending or one major cycle is ending um and starting anew and definitely with libra with the justice card um being libra uh there's going to be something happening during libra season there's getting ready to be a major shock or change here. Your the the world your world as you knew it 
is is changing or shifting um could be for the good could be for the for the worse um for some of you like i said it, it could be something about finding out that you're expecting or maybe you 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 just delivered a child um whatever it is this is like you're going to be completely out of your element yeah, you're, you're going to be like a fish out of water with either dealing with a new person, a new career. Um, if you're traveling a new environment or you're just doing something that you've never, ever done before, like skydiving or um, zip lining or something, you know, you might be taking some sort of risk, um, getting like a lot of strong Mars energy here. And I'm seeing like for some of you, it's like about falling in love, like, like you just feel it's more than butterflies in your stomach. It's like massive birds fluttering around in your heart. It's like, whoa, like, what is this? Like, I've never been hit like this. Like, I'm straight, straight up in love, like seriously. I'm feeling like a lot of you are feeling like this is it. You're like, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. God has answered my prayers. The universe has answered my prayers. Um, I see the light. It's shining. You know, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, this is new. This is new. I feel like you're calling. Your ship has sailed in. This is you answering to a calling um, this is realizing that you might have a psychic gift or a spiritual gift or any type of gift uh, or talent. You're discovering it. And this is so brand new to you. Um, even if you're a guy watching this, I don't care. It's almost like you're going to meet someone. This woman is going to blow your freaking mind. Like she's amazing. She's beautiful. She can do no wrong. You're going to have her on a pedestal. This is some deep admiration. And it's just like she is a breath of fresh air. It's like I've never, ever, ever felt like this before. So someone has really uh, changed you. Like if you were the type of person that was not into commitments now you are you're like oh my god like i'm ready to marry get married like now like you're throwing away your whole your whole cell phone throw the whole cell phone away i don't even need it no i just need this person so i'm feeling like especially man or woman but really guys i'm seeing like you meeting someone who is really um got you open i'm sorry i know that i think that's like a little 90s saying got you wide open but yeah, that might be go older than the 90s, but somebody got you. Uh, you might become a little guarded or defensive because you're like, uh-uh, I don't want, you know, this feeling is too new. I don't know where it's going. Like, I I'm not going to look like a fool. So you might become a little guarded and start trying to prepare or maybe trying to pull back so that you don't fall so hard. But it's like you're falling for this person. You All you do is think about them. All you, you're daydreaming about them. You're thinking about them. Um, people are like, what's what's wrong with you? What's getting into you? You acting like a little bitch. I mean, somebody's like going to call you out. Um, you know, if you're a guy, like you, you're getting called out. You're, you're a guy, you haven't been even wanting to spend time with them because you've gone through some sort of metamorphosis. The more I look at this reading, I know it's majority females looking at this. Maybe the message in it for you is that if you've met someone, this is how he's feeling about you. He is like crazy in love with you. Like, um, yeah, something happened, something shifted. Um, and you know, there is all these people, they're just falling in love. Um, and I mean, there's so much cups in here. I mean, it's gotta be about, it's gotta be about matters at the heart. Um, but if it's not, it can still relate to people or a career that you're passionate about. Anything that's dealing with passion that you dream about, that you daydream about, especially if you're artist, you're a singer, a songwriter, painter, sensitive, you're a sensitive person or, and or psychic. 
uh, and intuitive. This is about discovering your gift and, and might maybe becoming uh, defensive of it because you don't know what to do with it um, just yet or it's new to you. Maybe people are trying to flood you with questions and, and book readings and it's like, hold on, like people are coming at me too fast. Like I can't let everybody know that, you know, I have this gift or that I, I, I can do readings now because I'm seeing you feeling like maybe you're about to become bombarded or overwhelmed. So you're taking some sort of precautions to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, but let me take a further look at this tower here. If you had your walls built up, if you have been trying to go against the flow of things, it's, it's not happening. This, the tower is also about that universe intervening, stepping in. Yeah, see, I have a clarified by the four of, of swords. So um, it's saying here that if you had been too complacent or you had just been trying to hold off on something um, or take things too slow, like that's not happening. It's like, okay, move your ass. Like something's going to happen to push you out and make you take action or make you be proactive about something or make you express how you feel. Um, maybe some sort of event happens and you're like, oh my God, I got to tell, tell this person what I've been thinking about or what I've been feeling. I can't keep it hidden anymore. So I'm seeing whatever someone had been trying to process or, uh, or, um, praying about it's like it's just kind of like happening out of the blue or out of the all of a sudden yeah see four cups somebody was hiding how they felt or what they were thinking and it's like all coming out is being revealed or exposed there's a breakthrough here after a period of stagnation look two of cups I'm not even pulling anymore you guys this, you straight um, somebody is like really you met the person of your dreams this person is amazing for you okay so let's see what additional messages there are for um, water signs cancer Scorpio Pisces Okay, so for some of you, that is about a spiritual gift or psychic gift. You're going to be teaching people. You're going to be speaking to crowds. People are going to look up to you. Um, in regards to love, this guy respects you. He admires you. He, hold, he holds you to a very high standard. He has you on a pedestal. Um, you come off as someone very wise beyond your years. Um... You have a lot of patience, a lot of wisdom and knowledge. You take the light that is within you and you give it to other people. Lead, see? Those of you, again, spiritual people come discovering a gift or spirituality, uh, you're going to be using your gift to teach people and, and lead people. You're going to be a leader. People are going to be looking up to you. You're going to, going to take the initiative. If you have been trying to hold your power back, you're not going to be able to do that anymore. You're, it's like time for you to step up to the plate. So that's what you're going to be doing. Um, in regards to love, ladies, the male, or if it's a same-sex relationship, the one with the heavier masculine energy is moving forward towards you. Um, someone is making a move. Someone is um, taking the initiative. They're, they've been preparing what they want to say. Um, this person is ready for something serious. They're ready to follow tradition or walk in their ancestors footsteps or whoever the lad whoever has been married in the family uh and i say that because i know it's so rare nowadays that these marriages stick but i'm feeling like someone wants to walk the footsteps of their father or their grandfather or whoever was like an honorable man or old-fashioned 
um, and did the right thing here. Um, we have heels, so I'm feeling like some of you could have been going through some sort of healing or you have, because you have healed, this is why this person is coming into your life because you are completed as a person. You have undergone all these obstacles and um, trials and now you're ready. You know, you've learned the lessons that you've had to learn. Um, for many of you, you just completed one of your final lessons and now you get to enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor. Third eye chakra, again, those of you that are intuitive or psychic, you know, it's time for you to use that. It's time for you to share your gift. Um, it's time for you to help other people heal. This isn't just about you healing or it's about you taking your experiences and sharing it with other people. Now that you're healed, you can help other people. So that is the messages that I have for water signs. I hope it resonated. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments. Many blessings to you. Thank you.